Hi everyone, we're going to practice some of our periodic trends in this video and in our first example they want us to arrange these atoms in order of decreasing atomic radius or from biggest to smallest. So when faced with a problem like this I like to make a list of the elements And then the first thing I want to know is what shell is it in in the periodic table in the periodic table or how many shells does it have so here's sodium it's in the third shell aluminum also in the third shell phosphorus also in the third shell barium is a little bit bigger one two three four five it's in the sixth shell and then helium is in the first shell so already that tells us something that tells us that barium is the biggest and that helium is the smallest now to determine the size of the remaining three look at the atomic number so sodium has an atomic number of 11 aluminum is 13 and phosphorus is 15. now why is the atomic number important remember these are the number of protons in the nucleus and the higher that positive charge in the nucleus the more effectively that nucleus is pulling electrons closer to it. So this higher positive charge on the nucleus means this atom is smaller. So if we're going, if we're arranging in order of decreasing atomic radius, it's sodium, then aluminum, then phosphorus. So again, this is the largest and helium is the smallest let's try another one so now we have ions and they want them in order of increasing atomic radius we have nitride the sodium ion and you know what I'm thinking is going on here? These are all going to be isoelectronic, I think. Right? Nitride would have 10 electrons. A sodium ion would have 10 electrons. Fluoride would also have 10. Magnesium ion would also have 10 and the oxide ion would also have 10 electrons these are isoelectronic they have the same number of electrons so what you want to look at here again is the atomic number the greater the atomic number the smaller the ion so nitrogen has an atomic number of seven sodiums is 11 fluorides is 9, magnesiums is 12, and oxygen is 8. So in order of increasing atomic radius, again, the higher the positive charge on the nucleus, the smaller the ion. And that is because the positive charge, the greater it is, the better it is at pulling electrons closer to it. So the smallest ion is magnesium, then sodium, then fluoride, then oxide, and then nitride. Again, we have arranged these from smallest to largest in order of increasing atomic radius. And let's do one more. 
Now they want us to arrange these in order of increasing ionization energy. Remember, ionization energy is the energy needed to remove an electron. And let's just take a look at our ions. Uh, I'm sorry, at our elements, we have fluorine, potassium, phosphorus, calcium, and neon. And it may be helpful to look at what shell they're in. Fluorine is in the second shell. Potassium is in the fourth shell. Phosphorus is in the third shell. Calcium is also in the fourth shell. And neon is in the second shell. Now, why is that useful? These elements with their electrons in the fourth shell, those are going to be the easiest electrons to remove because they're furthest away from the nucleus. So potassium and calcium are going to have the lowest ionization energies, but to decide which one is the lowest, we have to look at the atomic number. Because this atomic number is 19, this positive charge compared to the 20 that you have here is not doing as good of a job attracting electrons to it. So potassium has the lowest ionization energy, then calcium, and then we would go to phosphorus. That's because the electrons are in the third shell, a little bit closer to the nucleus, a little bit harder to remove, and then we're left with fluorine and neon in the second shell. Again, because these are in the second shell, they're going to be the hardest to remove. But to decide between fluorine and neon, look at the atomic number. Fluorine has nine protons. Neon has ten. Because neon has more protons, its electrons are going to be more attracted to the nucleus, so this is going to have the highest ionization energy. So we'll have fluorine and then neon. So again, we've arranged these from lowest to highest ionization energy. Again, these elements require the less, the lowest amount of energy to remove an electron, and neon would require the most energy to remove an electron. That's all I have in this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for listening.